night. We can't all have that beautiful olive Italian skin <laughs> like Chef Robert. Ooh, that was a little hard. That's Chef Robert Silas okay. from City Dock Restaurant. <laughs> He's back this morning. You know, you always make these great Italian dishes, and this morning, just, just as we were about to say, oh, he's so predictable, here comes the marinara. Not today. Orange well, there's chicken. A, there's a lot of garlic going on in here. Well, so you got to have something going. Well, you got to stay right? got to have something going. Ingredients today are the chopped onions, the uh, green onions, the for coarse garlic, butter, salt, and pepper, peas and carrots if you like it, <clears throat> scrambled eggs for color, mm -hmm. and then I've got regular butter and, of course, soya sauce. And, of course, i got the rice cooking over there. Uh, it should yeah, be done pretty I, soon. This is a huge rice This is a it big is. rice that's, cooker That's I've a 10 seen. cup rice cooker. Okay. They make them up to 30 cups. Wow. For restaurants and stuff like that. Okay. I just hope my wife's not watching because that's hers, and I took it this morning from okay, the kitchen. Go. So I, she's looking. We've met her. She is lovely. Yeah. And then she probably is that. <laughs> but then again, I think she took something from you out of your house one time that you didn't notice for a little while. A little while, <laughs> yes. What I'm doing now is sauteing the garlic, the onions, and the green onions, getting mm -hmm. all that going. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull the rice out. Mm -hmm. And you always want to use warm rice. Don't ever use cold rice because you're going to be sitting there forever trying to Waiting chop for it a up. Dog. Okay. You know, it's going to it's going to clump oh, up right. on you. Oh, right. It sure does. So you want to keep it wet. And you're going to go ahead and just put that in. And don't try to put it in all at once because you have to work it in. Mm -hmm. Add your soy sauce. Now, that is very strong. So, you know, you want to just go ahead and just work your way with it to get the color. I mean, you can smell it hitting with the garlic yeah. right now. Um, what kind of rice is that? Japanese rice is cocoho. That's probably the best one that I found to use. Okay. You can get it at any oriental store. Okay. And depending on what part of Asia you come from, you can use uh, jasmine rice. You can use Korean rice. It's yeah. all different. Don't so ever use a boreal it's rice. Also yeah. It's also called uh, sushi rice, right? Yes. Here, uh -huh. You can't find that um, yep. particular brand. Yeah, then okay. when I've got this going, I'll go ahead and put the peas and carrots in. Some say we go together like peas and carrots. Yes, yes. Navy, Marine Corps, it has to be that way. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just going to mix it. And you want to have the color. And you want to just keep on working it Yep. as you go to it. Well, you said, yeah, you got to keep working that rice in little work by little. Working the rice in, yep. And then this can be either a side dish. This can be a main dish. If you want to take it where you can put shrimp or chicken or beef... Or sure. pork, whatever you want. As soon as the onions are all done and the garlic, put that in next. Okay. Rice goes in last with the soy sauce. When do the scrambled eggs go in? At the last minute. Oh, okay. Because the already, last, last. They're already cooked, and I don't really want to have, you know, them too. brittle items. But right. <laughs> all right. Well, cool. So what are we going to do in the next uh, in next our next segment? We're going to go ahead and do the orange chicken. And what I've done, when we serve it at the restaurant, of course, it's an 8-ounce chicken breast. Okay. But since it's here and it's got to be fork-friendly, we've gone ahead and chopped it up okay. into cubes. And we're going to mix that, of course, with garlic, orange marmalade. Mm -hmm. Then I brought some broccolini just to show you what a plate looks like at the restaurant. Okay. And then, of course, talking about the restaurant, we had the strolling supper on the on the. Uh, this past week. Can you tell me about that in a few minutes? Yes, can. Well, thank you very okay, much. Okay, my right, dear. This is Jeremy Wheeler's time and mm -hmm. We are back in the Hampton Grotto Kitchen with Chef Robert Saliza from City Dock Restaurant. We're making <coughs> orange chicken this morning. Oh, I see you've hidden the rice cooker just in case your wife is watching. Yeah, just so in she case she's watching. <laughs> you I it. have forgotten to say that she'll say make sure when the rice is cooked you fluff it. Yes. I mean, I don't fluff it. I just take it out you got to fluff it, so I fluffed it. So I, if she was watching, she'll be happy that I fluffed the rice. All right. What are you doing now? That now what I've got done, I've got the garlic in here, a little bit of onion, mm -hmm. and I'm just getting that going. I put in four jars of uh, Smucker's Sweet Orange Marmalade. Mm -hmm. And then you try to bring that where it'll get nice and loose, where you can yeah. use it as a gravy and stuff. you got to thin it out a little bit. Thin it out a little bit. Now, this is the killer, the horseradish. The uh, killer. You don't know how much you want to put in, so you just... Take it for choice, and then, of course, if they say they want it extra spicy or something, then you can put more. Okay. But that gives it all the flavor. Can you grab the green onions? I sure can. Thank you. Oh, I thought these were going in the rice. They're in. And just sprinkle oh, some just in here. Oh, just more. Okay, so not all of it. Just a just, little, just, just a little bit. Yeah, so we have a little bit of color in it. Okay, let me grab that little piece. Dun, 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 dun. That'll like work. That. Thank you. And then we're going to go ahead and saute this, let it cook down. Mm -hmm. And then in the center, I've got... Uh, garlic going of course and I brought some broccolini and when you have broccolini just try to cut up the top so don't use all the stems use the stems for soup tough. or something oh right okay you know you can use that but mm -hmm. put that in I'm gonna have somebody screaming here in a minute because it's, it's ticking won't gonna... be me <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Stephanie <clears throat> <laughs> right anyways but uh, it's it's cooking and this will go ahead and cook and come together 
This week on the 27th, we had the strolling supper yes. at the hotel. Me. How was that? It was really good. Uh, we had about 500 to 600 people. We had uh, 23 out of 25 restaurants there, mm -hmm. all showing. These were the people who won the Platinum Awards. Right. And uh, it went really well. And, along, and how did you do? Well, along with Homerama, since we took the People's Choice, they just went ahead and gave it to us at this one. Fantastic. And what did you make? What was the dish that night? We had the crab cakes and we had scallops. Oh, wonderful. Pan seared scallops with uh, tomato paste on it. And uh, we had nice arugula with it. Mm -hmm. And then plus we had our crab cakes with the, with the mango salsa. Mm-hmm. And everybody said that we, you know, were the people's choice. So it makes you kind of wonder, what are they waiting for to come to the city dock? I mean, twice, 1,500 people have said we're the best. Right. So they got to come down and see what we're doing. You know, I think sometimes when people think restaurant, they might not think hotel. Yeah. But you need to change your mind. Because you need to we've had enough mind. Chef Robert's food here to tell you. <laughs> it's really fantastic. And, I mean, it doesn't matter to you whether they're hotel guests or just coming in for lunch or dinner, right? No, we, we prefer to have them just walk right on in. Then they yeah. become regulars, and it's nice. That's and right. what we try to build is when they see that, along with our Sunday brunch that we have, mm -hmm. then there's our crowd for Mother's Day, Easter, Father's Day, because right. they're sampling our food. And all those things are coming. All right, all we're going to put coming. the finishing touches on this, talk more about what's coming up in the future at the Sheridan, but right now, another one of our favorite friends is here. On the Hampton Road Show, we've been having such a good time celebrating wedding week, and we're going to continue all week long talking about wonderful weddings and receptions, and uh, wouldn't be a party without food and drink. I would imagine you do some wedding receptions at the Sheridan. We do quite a bit, actually. All right. Uh, it's a great location. Josh Haw is back uh, with us to, you know, first give us something to drink with the meal, and then do you have, some, like, an after dinner No, drink you can actually drink this with the meal also, a cocktail. So. Okay. All well, right. Let's start off with the wine. We're going to go to Williamsburg Winery, mm -hmm. about 45 minutes up the street, right? 64. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of weddings, also a great place to get married. I got married there at Williamsburg Winery. Yeah. My wife Kim. And that was and, uh, fairly recent. That's right. We had the oh, we were asking this morning about people who eloped, and then you did the big ceremony, right? So your we parents did. forgave you. That's right. You did it eventually. We eloped so for the first time and then went back. So yeah. And had the family there. So Good for you guys. <laughs> And uh, so I picked the uh, Samuel Argyll uh, Dry Riesling, mm -hmm. and it, it, is a, um, uh, it is a dry Riesling. I picked it for the, um, uh, the fried rice, actually. I, yeah. I love Rieslings with, um, uh, with this dish. It's okay. a, a light to medium body. It's got some citrus rind, a little bit tangy, great acidity. Cuts right into that. So. Well, and we've got the orange, you know, the orange mm -hmm. sauce on the chicken, so I, saw, I noticed over here that you had some lemons, too. Exactly. Just to kind of with the citrus theme. Correct. And um, what, I, what I decided to do today was a grand sidecar. Uh -huh. So it's an uh, ounce and three quarters of cognac, and I picked a Colvassier today. That's like getting the sidecar because you shouldn't drive home right. after that, right? <laughs> and then uh, Grand Meunier, mm -hmm. which is a uh, orange liqueur, cognac base, uh, three quarters ounce of that. Okay. And three quarter ounce of lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice. That's right, of course. Very important. Yeah. Always use fresh ingredients. Okay. And uh, we're going to give that a good shake. Okay. I'm going to try to be my expert. Perfect. You guys are very good at this, but yeah. I still, boy. And then we're just that gonna, looks potent. We're going to serve that up in this martini glass. Didn't even answer me. <laughs> <laughs> you find out after, right? Right. So, all right. So, and you serve in a little martini glass. There you go. Wonderful. All right. And, and this will go with both of them. So, great to start the meal with, actually. So. All right. Thank you very much. Sure. Speaking of our meal, looks like it. Are we all finished? Everything's We're all ready to go. The rice is ready. The broccolini for a side vegetable, and the mm -hmm. chicken's ready to go. I'm letting it sit so it'll thicken up just a little bit. Okay. And then it, we cut it. As I said, when we serve it at the restaurant, it's a whole eight ounce chicken breast. Right. But here we've broken it down so it's easier to eat, so people can taste it. We it's ready to go. That. All yeah. right. And uh, you mentioned Sunday brunch is still going on, but the, uh, folks really should start thinking about Mother's Day and Easter and all those for you know, sure. days where people like to kind of come out and. Yes. Have a nice meal together. And you can get our flavors. If you come to the Sunday brunch, you can see what we do. Okay. And then we just enhance it for the buffets. And it's really nice. It's really... And we... All right. All right. We're going to give...